Alright, what is up you guys, and of course, welcome back to, uh, well, you know, Road to Master Ball rank, and, um, I'll be honest, like, I had a few battles outside just to kind of get myself into points, I've been falling behind schedule, and, um, that kind of, you know, sucked, so what I decided to do is use a team that, um, uh, I used for Season 2 to get myself in the Master Ball rank, um, which is, you know, just, if I wanted to define it, it is, um, it is just a team that works, it's tough, um, one of the better teams, I think, and it's based on punishing defensive alternative for any opposing matchup, um, Toxtricity and uh, Dracovish are the main draw, I would say, as they are really, really hurting Pokemon naturally, um, I need, in theory, two wins, but if I lose a game, um, I'm going to fall behind. Basically, you get more points if you're staying consistent of winning. As of last time I battled, I won, which means if I win now, I get a proper point back. And if I lose, I fall behind. So, I hope, you know, with seven wins and three losses, uh, which is alright. Alright, Grim Snarl Dream. And this is a team that does not appreciate Toxtricity all that much. Um... Drakovich is kind of good, but not really. Uh, Glissopar looks to be alright. Um, kind of fa fails versus Corviknight, but besides that, then of course... Yeah, that's the thing though. Um, and the Shell Smash variant off. Uh, you know what, we'll lead off with Toxtricity. Whimsy card, and last one has to be... Hmm... I can see small issues, but overall Tokyo is actually quite alright. I won't get much use of Berberiberi, and uh, Drakovich has its merits, but so has Goliath support of this matchup. Like, Goliath support really stings if he gets the option to. Yeah, I'm gonna use Goliath support, Goliath support, Goliath support. Uh, because I want. Like in my dream world, um, I just boom burst with Toxtricity and I should be alright. <sighs> but this could be a tough game, um, naturally. Like the matchup is, while good, it's not ideal. And if we have a likely variant of um, Grimmsnarl, then uh, no, we will be punished for that. Let's see. See, a Grimmsnarl leads, so that's alright. Um, or it's not alright, but uh, we can do something with this. As while he is Prankster, we should be able to do a significant chunk with Sludge Wave. So there's the light screen. I, I'm starting to like think think about it myself, you know, how obvious was that? But you know, it's clearly uh, very obvious. The question is if he goes for both. Because he gets the option to go for both. I'm going to Glaze, glaze Pod. Um, I want to see what he can do. Most of these sets has Reflect Light Screen, um, Sucker Punch and Filler. He could have Spirit Break. But the way I see it... I kind of want to stall him out if I'm if I can, if that makes sense. Wish I knew his remaining months because right now I feel his strat is gonna bring Toy Kiss and try to set up. I don't want to activate that weakness policy. Yeah, I think I'll actually, like, it's either Spirit Break or, like, I'm not worried, it's more of, um, you know, situational thing, how I want to deal with it properly. Thunder Wave, alright, cool. Hmm, I always feel, like, doesn't Prankster beat Prankster? Maybe it doesn't. <sighs> alright. So I'm going to Tailwind in here. And I either expect him to switch out, knowing what I do, or he goes for Sucker Punch or Spirit Break. There's the, there is that. 
So I think he knows what I'm doing. And uh, there is that guy. Cool. I'm gonna go for a tailwind. My sash is still intact, so it's not all that bad. Just go for damage while he shell smashes. Right, we're faster. That's cool. That's what you like to see. Curse body, you son of. <laughs> White herb. Cool. Um, now it should be faster. I'm just going to U-turn. Ooh, that's kind of greedy, isn't it? That's kind of... It is greedy. If I'm successful U-turn, that is. Don't be paralyzed. There we go. Oh, the crit. That looks right. That's right, Sucker Punch. I think Shadow Ball knocks us out. Um, it's weird on how much damage I do with my Sucker Punch. Because he's plus four, so it's nothing. Like, I don't take this well at all. Um, oh, he does it. Okay, cool. Cool. That was a mistake. No, we do for if he has Toy Kiss, you know, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a loss. <laughs> Hexers. That's kind of alright, though. I mean, I'm not in the best shape or anything like that, but. Like, his best play need to be um, to either attack me or uh, go for Dragon Dance. Let's see, do I have anything here who kind of... Um, if I Dynamax here, Special Defense, Special Attack, my Attack, my Defense. I still really want a Dynamax, so... Yeah, Max Knuckle. Probably not what I should have done. Uh, the only, I see him going for Dragon Dance here, trying to maximize his damage. I should have gone for the bug move, actually, I think about it. That was, you know, me under pressure. Not, not very impressive. <sighs> but basically, if I get some damage onto this thing, I should be able to, um, when he attacked me, to go back with a first impression. And I don't believe he should knock us out out of the, um, what do you call it, out of the range, basically. Um... I get as much damage as possible, you know, I'll take it. N not necessarily that much, actually. That was a bit depressing. Oh yeah, Reflect. Don't know why I didn't go for Stab. Anyway! And I believe a Rim hit knocks, like, forces us out easily. Um, so it comes down to whether or not I connect the moon last. At least he won't knock us out, as we're gonna get the first impression at least once on him. I really don't want this to uh, get us into range, but yeah, easily. Easily! <laughs> Jesus Christ, alright. That was a crit. That said, it goes without saying, but... Um, oh. <laughs> Still sick, sorry! Um, that said, if I'm getting fully paralyzed here, um, it's not looking all that stellar. The only positive part is that, you know, I at least have to burn two of his turns here.
So one Moonblast and then Tailwind. Max Steel Pike. Pike. Spike. Max Steel Pike. That's that's interesting. If I get fully paralyzed here, I lose. So please don't. Oh, the drama. Please, please, please. Yes! Mm. That's how it's done. Now get the tailwind. <laughs> ah, paralyzation didn't even matter. You're wasting your time. Well, not really, but we get both two worlds, which is great for us. Now, it goes without saying, but uh, you no, know, he's gonna clearly get out of his form. Um, if he has first impression himself, um, then he has to anyway switch out to get that done. And I am not particularly wor worried if he switches in and out here. Because you are gonna lose your Donna, Max. So we meet again, young Hexers, on the same field. I'm still bigger. Sorry about that. I'm just naturally that good. But yeah, my play here is rather simple. As, um... I should, with a Tailwind, you know, active, be faster than uh, Haxorus anyway. So he can go in and out, go for a max, or first impression. And if he goes for Dragon Dance, I'll actually kill him with a close combat. So those are my two options. Um... I'm not very worried though, you know, there, there are always scary parts here. And he could also be Scarfed, and uh, if so, that's kind of nasty. No, he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be. So, he has a Dragon as he wants to win. Goes directly for an Outrage, that's actually kind of alright. I could have got for a Sucker Punch, but why risk it? If he has a free Dragon Dance, I'm not sure I could win. So, Toxtricity comes in, wraps up, gonna get the Boom Burst. I'm not gonna lie, this the game was rather tight. But yeah, there we go, one win, just one more, and I think we're on the spot. And if we lose, you know, we're gonna fall behind, clearly. This was kind of exciting. Really happy to see Toe Kiss. Uh, as is a Pokemon that strains the team quite a lot, actually, and naturally. Worst part about Togekiss is that my only response is uh, Toxtricity. And uh, if I fall behind and you know, get my Toxtricity damaged, I always kind of struggle. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're in the range for one more win. That's... I'm not sure. That looks to be... Um, a bit behind, actually. Maybe I need three more wins. Or two more from this range. It all depends, you know, win or, win or lose here. Okay. Goliath has a good kind of range here. It doesn't have a Pokemon that is grounded, which means Toxtricity can Volt Switch quite freely. It doesn't even deal that well with Dracovish. Golisipod looks to be really important, however. How do I feel about Whimsicott? I wouldn't want to use Whimsy card if the axis is to um, get some momentum. So. Ah. Um, you know, this is not a, like a good matchup to be in. Sinrays and Mimikyu are always annoying, no matter how you twist and turn things. And. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for Goliath upon lead, and uh, we'll take it from there. I like Dracovish, but. It's too many what if. And if he has Rotom lead, the only merit I get from that is the first impression. Usually the Volt Switch on me or um, Will Wisp. And Will Wisp would be unfortunate, but not like super decisive. Let's see, the lead is Durengard. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this is not a matchup I think is that tough. 
Though the opponent, in contrast, could uh, doesn't do that though. Um, okay, head smash, head smash. Jesus Christ, that was my mistake, wasn't it? Oh, it flat out knocks us out. Cool. That was not a bad. Like that was clearly not what I wanted. That was bad. That was very bad. That was, we're gonna lose bad. Right. I think King Shield here is the play, so I'm just gonna do the obvious play and just get as least amount of damage onto me. Ah, that was bad. Did not expect that. Good on him. Really good on him. You know, all of his consider, you know, that's what you want to see. Oh, Shadow Sneak. That I didn't expect. I was kind of expecting yourself to... You know what? Who cares? Who cares what I thought you would do? Right, same spot, but I burned my Dynamax. Is whether or not I want to really try to abuse my Dynamax when I really can't. It all depends on his switch in here. Ranked Master, yeah, Corviknight. So he's gonna defensively try to shake me, and that's all right. Um, this means it's all about which is which is his last Pokemon. We do out speed, which is good. We shouldn't do too much damage. Well, next time it's gonna sting. But yeah, like he could roost this off, I think. I would have braver. No, Iron Defense. So Iron Defense, most likely Body Press. That's good. That's real good. So next one is going to do roughly the same, and I think my opponent should Roost. Or rather, I would have Roosted here. Citrus? Citrus. So another Iron Defense then. And I think we'll lose here. If I don't score a crit, this is wrap basically, because Bother Press is not gonna do a significant chunk on us. And I think if he's really smart, he could actually just go for his old Gigantamaxing. And I'm starting to regret not bringing off anything that is especially offensive. Right. Do it! It still does alright though. <laughs> Let's see, does Bother Press knock us out? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So this was something I was kind of worried about. You know, eventually we get a matchup where the opponent just gets it right and a head smash variant of... Um, um, a head smash variant of... Um, Aegis Slash was probably just about that. Um, now it's whether or not he roost or he tries to go for the KO. Ooh, we get it though. Alright, we have the... Where the sash intact? Oh, will it matter? It depends on the last matchup. Oh, don't be Tyranitar, don't be Tyranitar, don't be Tyranitar, don't be Tyranitar. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, cool. Who's the bitch now? Who's the bitch now, Rotom? Oh, you're scarfed? Good for you. Oh, less good for me, clearly. Oh, I'm pull That wasn't very nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's not over. It's very much over. Oh, the world just keep on giving and taking stuff back. That was that was a roller coaster, wasn't it? You hate to see it. When hacks becomes the factor. Max Darkness. Yeah, but that's resisted too, though. Like, that shouldn't do... I've still got two hits in me, I guess. But I'm nowhere near knocking him out. Oh yeah, special defense decrease. Now that's the question. Would I have knocked him out? If anything, I am at least close to being able to do so, but we won't be able to find that out. 
Um, we'll take this win with or loss with some dignity. We had the matchup, but I never knew I had it. And uh, you know, a paralyzation is you know the difference between winning or losing. Sometimes that's the case. I didn't think I had it in me, but he had this man as a response. So we know. I'll say it as it is. I should have won, but I also feel I didn't deserve to win with the first turn being like that. Um, at least we won't lose that many points. Then again, if we win next time, we won't get that many points either. Um, that guy was lucky. <laughs> oh, that was rough. Scarf Whimsicard. Alright, you know what? Due to we're losing that, I'm gonna actually end. No, one more game and then gonna end it. Because um, I was hoping it was just gonna have, be one video with me reaching Master Ball rank, but that clearly wouldn't isn't the case anymore. Oh, Bolt Hound. Now, this is a team that suffers for one thing, and that is Dracovish. Lapras here, however, could be a War Up Soul variant. Uh, that should not go unnoticed. But this guy do not like Whimsicott. I was like Alusa, Alucha, Alusa, and that mod has one big merit to this matchup, and that is it can self itself uh, around for the terrain itself. <sighs> but yeah, Whimsica looks to be alright always in general. Do that, and um, Toxtricity has merits, but Dracovish looks to be the part to get with. I think Togekiss actually because it deals somewhat well with Halucha. Ballista pod is good, but not perfect. Well, that one steel type in. Ooh, it's tough. At least these two are making it for sure. The last mod should either be. Like, with mod still there, they're gonna keep Stranitar away. Oh, but I like Toxtricity in this game. Let's do this. I like Goliath support too, and I like Togekiss too, but it's you know two electric types that does oh, not two electric type, but Bolt Hound faster naturally, and Hallucha being able to set this up with electric terrain. It's just it is too much to ask for. It could even be a close combat White Herb Hallucha. If so, that's all right. But I fear it's not. I fear it's you know the obvious set, which is the Thunder Punch variant to be able to set us up with electric terrain. Halucha is great in this game, by the way. I hate to face it. There we go. There you are, you son of a bitch. It could also be a weakness policy variant. Um, oh, good. It's Mold Breaker. Now we just go for Moonblast. There is nothing to that play. Alright, U turns. Because since it wasn't unburdened, ooh, it's that that has to be banded. So, what's your switching? Do it. Do it. I'm short for time. Come on. Lapras, alright. Yes, special attack decrease. Um, will you turn here? He could have ice shard. So I'm feeling the freeze dry. If anything, we're just gonna get you know get the ship. But basically, I don't want to take an ice beam here. And toxicity should not only be faster, but should be just have an overall threatening aura. <laughs> he could have you know share cold. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus Christ, how is that thing allowed? Um, let's see, he doesn't have a grounded Pokemon. No. So I'm free to Volt Switch. Or free to, I have to. Because the only Pokemon I fear he could bring naturally that would be uh, straying on us would be. Um, um, or it's called Durandal, or whatever. Um, Hydreigon, cool! Jesus Christ, alright, cool.
This means Toxtricity wins, right? Because I want to force him to... Um, to do his Mega Evolution, as you're about to say, but... Basically, I'm banded. I most likely can't take a hit. Um, so I'm going to go for the Max Wormwind. And... Um, if he's smart, he do the same. But I should be able to take a Draco from this guy unless he specs. And if he's scarfed, um, I won't. I won't know. But I need a little bit more ship on this Hydreigon. And if I force him to Dynamax, um, I should be able to outspeed him with uh, Whimsy Card next turn. And quite frankly, and honestly, that's all I want. Like, I need to bait him to this. And if he knocks me out, that's alright. As the Women's Gods Moonblast is going to absolutely destroy this guy. We'll see what happens. You know, it's it's a threatening aura between these two, for sure. <laughs> Just that my guy looks... You know, Dracovich looks to have a rough time, like... It clearly wasn't made to last, or live in general. Um, but yeah, Max Whirlwind, please don't knock us out. It's close to, like, I don't believe I knock him out at all. Um, even more so when my attack fell, but I should be bringing him down to range where I want him to, which is all I want. In theory, I could fuck with this guy and just switch in Whimsy God now. I don't believe Mac Darkness knocks us out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm doing the greedy play. If I lose this, I at least have it recorded. May they know I gave away my victory. Why is he waiting? If he goes a max steel spike now, I'm just going to... Okay, cool. But he would lose if he did that. He's not in that position. Max... Fl oh, Jesus! Absolute mad lad. I have this recorded. What a... What a master. What a beast. What a man. Oh my god, I gave away this victory. <laughs> oh shit. I can't be mad. That is... There is clearly one winner, one loser here, and I am absolutely not one of them. What the hell? Oh my god. What did I do? In my hunt of being cool, I've been the worst ever. I should have done that. I should not have done that. I was telling myself, you're giving away this victory. But he has no other play. And he didn't. Had he done that? No, I know exactly what he was trying to do. Now that I think of it, he wanted to get himself into a position where he didn't lose to... Um, I know what he was doing, yeah. He did the right play, second Hydreigon, Dragon Breath, yeah. I'm... Oh my god. This was bad. This was really bad. Oh my god, I got this recorded. This is the first time I have two contestable losses to one another. Um, how does that affect my points? This was supposed to be, you know, a road to glory. Oh, no I don't. I'm feeling... I lost to the worst... The worst player won. Two losses in a row, not that big of a loss. But we're back to where we were. So with that said, as, as always guys, if you've been watching, I'm gonna record afterwards, but this episode is getting way longer than I was anticipating. So with that said, take care and...